Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel and if you'd like to get my take on this and my review on the 78 palette version 3 as, as the title says please keep on watching so this palette the 78 palette is the version 3 and it's an unmarked brand that comes from China and it's available in Trinidad Halloristic and I'll put their um, Facebook page um, down in the description box for you guys to go and check but this is not, I know the version 1 and 2 you find it available like at Coastal Sands and you know, maybe one or two other sites that sell it. But the version 3 is not one of those versions that you get, you know, you see a lot of or you get a lot of reviews. So I thought I'll review it for you guys. So this is what the palette looks like and I'll take photos and put it on my blog for you guys and that link I will place below. So you get an array of eyeshadows, what seem to be like cream products I don't know um, I've not used this as liner but it is a black color and then you have like a shimmery white highlighter then you have the powdered stuff you have from your highlighters to your contour to different shades of blushes and you get 10 20 30 40 50 60 eyeshadow colors that range from your brights into some neutrals so it's more bright colors but still you have your neutral this is palette is actually I would suggest very good for the person who is now starting up with makeup and wants a full kit with you know total products so they don't have to be going out and buying a whole bunch of stuff and they have a variety of colors so you have all your pinks here and you have some warmer colors here like you know your different your lighter browns into your burgundy and then some browns and you have your yellows which are like warm tone then you have your purples which you can work into a smoky eye your blues which has a lot of blues then you have your greens and you have a darker color kind of greens here then you have your brown colors and these are matte colors you have your silver your matte black which is super pigmented then you have your like your different shades of grays for your smoky eyes etc so you can get a smoky eye out of this because you have a couple darker colors um, but you also and your browns and your blacks but you also can get neutral eyes bright color uh, um, you know really bright bold eyes now the palette does have a mixture of finishes and it's three finishes you have your your matte shadows you have your shimmer glitter and you have your satin colors but the majority of the shadows are a mixture between matte and shimmery colors so I'll go ahead and swatch a couple of them I'll leave this this row with the black for last so I'll do the eyeshadow Swiss and then I'll do the cream products so there's this bright pink let me do it like this yeah so bright pink and I actually did use this palette to create this look and I did use some of the color on my lip I used to contour for blush highlight everything then you have the oranges I'll do two of the oranges one is shimmery oops the black actually did touch no not a black the silver I think it's what is on my hand so yeah as you can see this pig they're pig, pretty pigmented and then we'll do one of these lighter pinks here which is pretty shimmery and so let me wipe off these so I can go on to the others so next we have is the row of brown and burgundy and I'll just watch this burgundy color that's it there gold kind of color are you guys seeing the colors I hope you are then there's this gold color here and I will do a yellow for you guys so know everybody always looks so that these are like really nice fall colors yeah and then on to the purples I actually have been using this palette for a couple of days because it was in my weekly basket which I did not get to, to post for you guys but yeah and I've used this purple color I actually used it in a smoky eye so it didn't look all that crazy then you have this darker purple which really and truly is a matte purple <clears throat> then you have this bright kind of periwinkle blue which is matte also and I'll do a lighter purple up here so yeah a lot of the colors though um between matte I, I find out that the matte colors are slightly chalky and that all together pigmented but they're not that bad you can actually pack it on so then you have this blue here which is this a nice um turquoise color very very pigmented this lighter green which is matte and it's a bit chalky 
and then this other blue over here which is super pigmented and that gives you a nice rich blue so the colors you know are not totally bad i will go over quickly to like the browns for you oh i should do a uh this is that a green that fell now this palette fell and some of this stuff got shipped but can you see how pigmented that these um these greens are that's a match green so that one isn't and lastly this lighter green that's there those two are last two colors so matte colors and quickly on to the smoky colors you have your nice browns here and these are like matte brown look how pigmented that is then you have this silver which is like really soft and pigmented and glittery it's really hot and then another silver over here really th these darker colors are like so pigmented and this black is like almost one of the blackest black i've seen in these kind of palettes so yeah the darker colors like the silvers so they are really pigmented i really barely tapped into the black to smoke out my um my crease because it was just it's just so super pigmented you kind of like have to take a blending brush and apply it and really blend out the color on to the cream products they you have a, a white kind of highlighter that let me see yeah it's really like a shimmery highlighter can you see it there then you have a kind of gold highlighter color so you have those two four highlighting and then for the lip products my black did mess up my um just now so these shadows are really soft so you need to take care of the palette that's a pink lip color this is a brighter pink I actually have on this this one here on top of my lip liner and to the reds yeah that's like an orange tone red and then pretty darker red that's it so those are the lip colors they're not totally opaque they, but they are buildable I realized that I thought initially oh my gosh they're not opaque but interestingly they are buildable and they do last pretty long and the black is actually a kind of glossy black so I definitely would not be using this for my for my lid I sorry about that my <laughs> tissue fell so I would not use that black but all the other the highlighters are pretty okay because I actually have one the clear highlights so very subtle with the powdered stuff onto the powdered highlighters you have your white you have your cream and then you have your contour which is really brown and the contour all these are not shimmer they're very um they're matte so if you want like a shimmery highlight you add the shimmers from the cream product and then you add the powdered stuff the powdered um these powders here to get that kind of not shimmery effect and then for the three blushes that's swatches of the three blushes very they're pretty pigmented i must say if you have um if you use like the elf um um, um, um elf blush brush another complexion brush you actually get good pickup um with it so and that's what i use so here's a look of the palette again and I will try and post pictures of my blog for you guys to see. But it is a very all-rounded good kit for the value. And it's $1.75 on Halloweristic. But you can also get this on sale on Halloweristic now and then when they have their sales or their specials. I will definitely recommend it for the person who is now starting off with someone who just wants to have maybe one palette that they can do quick looks with on the go. And um, I will also recommend it for those who like bright colors eyeshadow now one thing that you need to know is that with these shadows with all of these palettes you need to have a base a primer first on your, on your lid and then a base these shadows do not stick well unless you have on a base and they also do not last all day if you do not um, have apply a base on your lid along with your primer so that's the only drawback in them now what would I rate this out of five I would give this palette um, for me personally I would give it a 3.5 but for the average person um, who likes you know just wants a palette with a number of stuff I would give this a 4 a 3.5 for me be just because there are lots of bright colors I personally would not be using because I am more of a neutral person so thank you so much for stopping by I hope this review was helpful so until next time take care and God bless bye bye